That's a good start. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name is Gabby. And I'm Charlotte. And this is a 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe luxury with pecan brown interior. Pecan brown leather interior. Whatever, however you say it, it is a beautiful interior color option. Mm -hmm. Something that we certainly don't see every day and something that is the very first time being premiered on our channel. Absolutely. So we're really excited to showcase it to you guys. And of course, we have filmed the luxury Santa Fe before. We're just gonna reiterate some of our favorite things on the vehicle and give you a general walkthrough. Now, if you wanna see something a little bit more in depth, make sure you check out the other videos that we posted on the Santa Fe, because we uncover every single trim and feature available in this car. If you didn't know, when you go to the Kia Hyundai channel, we actually have playlists on every single vehicle, whether it's hybrid, gas, or just plug-in hybrid. <laughs> We have a playlist, so if you want to know more about the Santa Fe just in general, go and check out that playlist. We have tons of content and tons of other videos on all your favorite Kia and Hyundai vehicles. Mm -hmm. And one last thing I'm going to say before we get into the actual vehicle, we're going to talk about why we do these videos. So number one, we film these lives every single day at 2 p.m. and they're live streamed. So we're doing this real time, no script, no nothing. It's just us talking to you guys about cars and we do that because number one, we love the Kia and Hyundai product and we want to make sure you know everything there is to know about these vehicles. Number two. Oh, that was me. Well, that was my cue. <laughs> Number two is if you guys are searching for a new vehicle or a pre-owned vehicle, why not consider just Kia or Hyundai as a brand, no matter where you live in the world? They've done a lot of really cool stuff in the past couple of years, and I think you guys will be genuinely shocked. And the design of the Santa Fe, really, really... It's a testament to it. Yes. <laughs> Number three. Number three, if all of these tick your boxes and you do want to purchase a new Kia or Hyundai vehicle and you live in Canada, that's heavy on the if you live in Canada, more specifically, Ontario. Heavy on the Ontario. Heavy on the Ontario. We have three dealerships that would love to assist you in all of your car buying needs. So Brantford Kia, that's where me and Charlotte work, and that's where we film every single day. But we also have two Hyundai stores, Brantford Hyundai and Owen Sound Hyundai. Brantford Hyundai is, of course, in the same town as us, so it's about 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. You can visit both of our stores, drive the competitor right after the other one, and see which vehicle gets you best. All right, with that note, let's get into the exterior walk around. Okay. And if you're curious why we're wearing red and green, it's because this is the Santa Fe. Yeehaw! I will see myself out. Just kidding, we have 30 minutes to spend with each other going over everything on this vehicle. So let's start off at the front end. Number one, you're probably gonna take a glance at those beautiful LED H headlights. So when you get a little bit, little bit closer, you'll notice that not only are these LEDs extremely bright, but they're sharp and the design just plays a beautiful part in making this redesign something very, very worthwhile or very, very notable. It does not look like the Santa Fe's of the past and I think that's a good thing. It's fun, it's fresh, and it's moving forward. Another thing you may notice, sorry, shoes are squeaky. We have a lot of H's to count in this vehicle. So from your front bumper over here, the LEDs like I mentioned, and even just the curtains along the vehicle, you'll see it. there are a lot of hidden H motifs, which I do like. But besides that, it's easy to get lost in the letters. Let's take a look at the safety that comes in this vehicle. Right in the very center, you're gonna get a front camera and that's gonna be utilized for your 360 camera view on the vehicle. You also get ultrasonic parking sensors peppered throughout the front bumper. When those two work together, not only do you get that camera view, but you're also gonna get some audio inside the cabin to let you know when you're approaching too close to something else. So a great safety feature, especially considering this is a larger SUV. Now that's not my favorite thing about this vehicle. Of course the safety is great. Who doesn't love safety? Especially when a lot of the safety is standard. My favorite thing about this car is what's under the hood. So let's give it a lift. Um, also, the fact that it is had an hydraulic hood lift is oh, something that... Thank goodness. It's a Christmas miracle. It is. It's a Christmas <laughs> in March miracle. So check that out. I know it may not look like much, but let me tell you, this is by far my favorite powertrain that Kia and Hyundai offer. So if you're wondering why I said Kia and Hyundai, this 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder gasoline engine is shared with the Kia Sorento, which is my favorite vehicle in Kia's lineup. You get 277 horsepower in this vehicle with 311 pound feet of torque, made it to an eight speed dual clutch transmission and this vehicle responds like a dream. So any sort of driver input this vehicle goes, it unleashes itself, but it's also not bad in the fuel efficiency department. Another thing that changed for 2024 is if you're looking at the Santa Fe and more specifically, maybe you're looking at the entry trim level, both bottom trims, so the um, preferred and preferred with trend are hybrids. So something that we've never seen before in the Santa Fe world. When it comes to the wheels, you get these beautiful, beautiful wheels. This is shared on the preferred with trend hybrid. So if you're curious what those wheels look like, this is the real world application. And you're probably watching this video because you want to see the interior. 
Well, let me tell you, it's not that often that we get an interior that matches the wheels or tires, I should say. But in this case, we do. Well, that's thanks to me. We do if they're clean. Yes. <laughs> Usually, yeah, of course, you get black leather interior, so it matches the tires. But this time, we have it for another reason. So I'm going to give you a quick peek. Charlotte will actually take a turn on the interior. That's, okay, all, you that's all you get for your sneak peek. All you get for now. You got to keep watching. For your roof rails, they are a little bit raised and they're blacked out. I think the whole blacked out appeal does look nice on this vehicle, especially considering you get the Serenity white exterior paint. Doesn't matter what paint color you get though, the vehicle looks nice. It looks real good. Speaking of looking good, I'm going to talk about something controversial. Actually, I'll just show you. <laughs> this is the rear end. So, it's flat. <laughs> and it's flat for a reason. So, of course, the new Santa Fe has a size or a class leading Sorry, it's new to me too. A class leading opening area. So of course this makes it almost completely like just an entirely usable space. So the loading area is extremely low. So it's very easy. You don't have to lift things too high to toss them in there. You can easily slide them over on the scuff plates. Let me just put this down. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then with the third row folded down, there is a ton of seats. One thing I do like about this sitting configuration versus the Kia Sorento is the fact that you get seven seats, so there's a bench in the middle. That means you can easily fit five people and still have so much usable space back here. Like, seriously, there's a lot of space. On the Kia Sorento, this would be a captain's chairs configuration, so only six seats. And if you needed to drive five people around, one of these guys would have to be up and you lose a ton of cargo space. So it's a major win for the Santa Fe. On top of that, back here, you do have rear air vents. So again, something that's not available in the Kia Sorento. USB-Cs, a 12 volt, and then on the flip side, you do get a household inverter. So that 115 volts plug in. So check that out. Also, the addition of some brown leather interior or this isn't leather, some brown interior touches to the rear also make a nice difference, just keeping everything nice and cohesive. This vehicle does have a spare tire. It's located, oh sorry, it doesn't have a spare tire. Sorry, I'm a liar. The Sorento does, but you do get your tire mobility kit right over here. And a larger amount of underfloor storage that you don't get in the Kia Sorento. Sounds like I'm really uh, knocking the Kia Sorento, but I promise you guys, I love that vehicle, but I'm also starting to grow to love this one too. It truly is something that it's different, but once you drive it and get to spend some time with it, you start to fall in love with it. It's a weird, strange love. Um, again, with the rear end, when I first saw the Santa Fe, I was really questioning it. I thought it looked a little strange, but now it's starting, I'm getting familiar with it. Also, our lights shut off. Charlotte's gonna show the vehicle a little bit and I'm gonna go turn them on. So here you can see a lot more of the style lines. Something I kind of like to point out is when you look at the rest of Hyundai's lineup is you see a lot more body lines that are more angular. Here we're seeing a lot more of those 90 degree angles instead of something that's a little bit more acute on the body lines. And then also here you can check out those nice beefy fenders too. Controversial over here, I know the taillights. <laughs> but I think for the most part, it looks pretty good. You can see the roof racks too. Your fuel door, and you do have a digital key to touch on this vehicle too. A lot of people are saying they don't love that there isn't a spare tire. I totally get that. I love this peace of mind that comes with having a spare, but at least you do have some roadside assistance with this vehicle too. Mm -hmm. um, a couple more safety things I'll point out. So I think, I don't know what you mentioned actually, so I'm, I'm just gonna get into it. <laughs> so we do have turn signal indicators on our mirrors, but we also have a camera located underneath. So that camera is gonna be utilized to show your blind spot. So every time you indicate a turn, whether it's to merge lanes or to actually just full on make a left or right turn, you're gonna see it, so in the cabin. On top of that, it's also gonna use that photo to create your full 360 view. So every time you throw your car into reverse, you can see everything that's happening around you. And of course, we're gonna show you guys in today's video. So stick around and we'll hop in, take a look at everything else the Santa Fe has to offer. Charlotte, shall we go inside? For sure. Okay, so now we get to take a little bit more of an in-depth look at this gorgeous interior color. And if you guys know me, every time we have something that is a little bit different on the interior, I absolutely love it. I go feral for it because I love anything that's different. And this definitely fits the bill. So this is that nice pecan brown leather interior. And I love this brown. I love how it plays again on the faux wood trim. And then together it just creates a lot of really rich colors and textures. And I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. For some key features we have, Whoa, I'll pop in. You can see we've got memory seats and we have nice flush door handles too. Also our mirror controls, 
and a window control is your mirror controls. They are power folding, they're also power adjustable, and they will save with your seat settings, with the memory seats. Tons of different ways to configure your seat. You've got your standard six-way power adjustable with the inclusion of four-way lumbar supports. So that gives you a total of 10 ways to adjust the seat with six for the passenger. Uh, steering wheel. Now, this is going to sound odd, but I this is a comfortable steering wheel. And that is something that people are like, oh my goodness, it's a steering wheel. Like, it's literally a circle. <laughs> Get uh, over yourself, girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's leather wrapped. It's heated, but it also just gives like a little bit of a memory response almost. It's so comfortable to hold. I'm literally not even exaggerating. You've got to really try nice. it for yourself. Uh, carrying along throughout the cabin, we can see the H motif carried out. We have a huge ambient lighting H stretching across the whole dash. Again, with those dual screens, dual 12.3 inch screens, electronic parking brake, tailgate, traction control. We got paddle shifters behind the vehicle too, so you can manually, well, as Mean, well, as manually as you can an automatic vehicle with a column mounted shift by wire gear shift, uh, <laughs> change your gears. <laughs> uh, and then other than that, it's typical fashion for the steering wheel, driving controls, lane keep assist, smart cruise control, lane follow assist, and then media controls, virtual assistant, media modes, everything like that. So but that's wrong. <laughs> That should be the other way around. I know. Usually it's swapped around, which is so crazy. Usually we only see it in this configuration for EVs, HEVs, or PHEVs. So it's a little different, but I'm not mad at it. I am. You are? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Though. <laughs> Do you want to show the screen here? Sure. So this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. And so what this is going to show in the center is your power distribution. Also show you which way the wheels are turned. I'll see if I can turn a little bit. You can see that slight change. And also, because we're operating on the new software, we have simplified graphics, which I think look really good. Now, if you're wondering why there are lights on up top, like the engine light and oil light and battery light, uh, that's just because the vehicle's in accessory mode. But here, digital, speedo or digital speedometer, digital tachometer, everything like that. I'll have Gabby come around and join me in the passenger side. Ryan asked why have they swapped the steering wheel controls, and I don't know. I would love to find out because I'm not a fan. It really throws me off. Not like this is my personal vehicle, and I'm sure if this was yours, you'd get used to it real quick. But for dealership employees, it's really confusing. Can I, I think I'm gonna make a guess okay. as to why it's like this. Um, everything on the Kia side that is a shift by wire has it this controls. This is a call, just a column mounted shift by wire. Okay. So I wonder if that's why. But I just don't understand. I don't understand why, but that's my guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's an educated guess. <laughs> All right, um, Charlotte already mentioned this, but the brown um, wood with the brown interior, stunning, gorgeous. Stunning, we love, Beautiful. love to see it. I wear a lot of brown on brown, so you all know this is up my alley if you've ever seen literally a thumbnail of me. <laughs> uh, again, we've got that wood grain carrying across the dash, more H motif as we look at our vents. And we do not have a sunglass holder in this vehicle, but we do have your upstairs and downstairs glove box, so you could put your sunglasses in here. My only thing is, is I put, if I put my sunglasses in here and I'm driving and they like slide, I'm not gonna be able to reach them, I got short arms. So, but special shout out to Paul Williams. I know he's on today, but he wasn't on yesterday. He actually sent us Kia branded sunglass holders, which was so cool. And we did a demo of them in yesterday's video too. So Paul, check that out if you have That haven't. was awesome. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, we love Paul. Okay, let's talk about the real star of the show. And that is going to be our infotainment center. And oh my goodness, what's that in the center? The center of the star of the show. That's right, you have a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can wirelessly stream mine and Gabby's podcast, which is Trunk Talk, available on all streaming platforms. So you can definitely check that out. But I love how responsive this screen is. Of course, you're running the new software with the capacity for over-the-air updates, and we'll take a look at what your CarPlay looks like. Super responsive again. There's our podcast, obviously. You can even slide it down. Let's get it. Slide it down. You can customize it. Tons that you can do with this screen. We'll do a more in-depth video on that once we have one of our own. That way we can show you all the different functions. As we move down, we're going to get into climate controls and media controls. Your media controls are at the top with the inclusion of a search button. So you can search contacts, point of interest, features that in and of themselves. Lots that you can do with this, and this is great, especially if you are getting into a new vehicle and are unfamiliar with some of the tech advancements that have been made over the past, you know, five to seven years. This item right here, I actually love how this is set up because I drive the Sportage, which has the switchable infotainment uh, climate controls, but I love how this is set out, how I can access everything. So I've got heated seats, two levels of heat for my heated steering wheel, and you can see it gives me a little bit of feedback there too. Now, some people are asking, Charlotte, will this work? It was working for me earlier, I promise. There you go. So you gotta press a little bit harder if you do have a glove on. 
uh, but it will work for you so that will still be okay. Ventilated seats, for circulated air, uh, everything like that in the front. I was just checking to see if there was a heated windshield. I couldn't quite remember. There's not. Uh, auto hold and then your drive and terrain modes. I personally don't love the toggle. I like the dial, but again, that's just a design choice and really isn't going to impact the drive. But for drive modes, you've got normal sport and the customizable my drive. Terrain, we've got snow, mud, and sand. So lots that you can do there too. Idle stop and go. And let's take a look at those cameras that Gabby mentioned. So here is that surround view monitor, which Gabby talked about. Oh, the... sorry. <laughs> You're good. It's a big cabin. It was hard to reach for my yes. door. Yes. <laughs> There's so much space in here. Uh, so this is going to be that picture with the cameras on the mirror on the back all stitched together. Of course, you're going to have your front camera too, of which you can do a wide view, rear view camera with dynamic guidelines and even an outside 360 view. Right. There's our sportage there. So Sweet. this camera is great. It only really comes up when you throw it in traverse or when you manually select it. But Charlotte, show us the best camera. When you start your vehicle and indicate a turn, this... Oh, you gotta, gotta start, start the vehicle first? <laughs> okay, we're turning her on. Check that out. So this is gonna be your blind spot monitoring at work or blind spot view at work. And I love this feature. I think it's so cool. Uh, fun fact, my father-in-law is looking at purchasing the Sorento X-Line Limited and he loves this because I didn't know this, but he uh, is always cautious about there being someone on a bike and that he can't see them. So that's very, that's very so that's, real. That's pretty real, eh? Yeah. Uh, down here, of course, USB-C, we've got connectivity, we've got charging. You also have a wireless phone charger here. If you move up to the ultimate clicker, you're going to have two wireless phone chargers. Nice deep cup holders. And we have your bilateral center console. So when I say bilateral, it means I can open it from here, but also if I got people in the back seat, they can take a look at and get access it from the back seat too with an LED light too. And what happens if we both try to open it? Car takes a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> up top, we do have a sunroof. We have two sunroofs. So just a normal one in the front. Open that up. We do have blue link capabilities as well. There we go. Very I'll nice. Open the rear. Oh, I guess I'm closing that. This one doesn't open, but you can actually open the shade. So there you go. You just saw that at work. Dark headliner, which I think looks great. And let's take a look at the space in the back seat. Okay. Ambient lighting is a nice touch too. So of course you can change it. Blue is not your thing, but extends all the way across, even underneath the screen. I love that. I love that it's in the H motif too. All right, stickers. There we go, that was a good sound. <laughs> okay, carrying of course with the H motif and we still have this beautiful, put that in my pocket, leather in the back seat. Uh, these seats, super comfortable. They are heated for your seating pleasure. And something else, else I like is you have two cup holders here and you're probably looking at this center console and you're like, Charlotte, it's got this thing. Like, you know, what is this? We wanna see rear air vents here. Don't worry, you do have rear air vents. They are pillar mounted, so they're just there for you. Other than that, you're still gonna have USB-Cs on the back of the seat. You still got hooks, you got pockets for privacy. You have two cup holders here, which again, really love that. And up top, take a look at that gorgeous roof. So fun. Yeah, this vehicle, I mean, I do, I'm starting to like the exterior look more, but the inside, oh my goodness. The interior unmatched. is so premium. Yeah. I absolutely love it. And, like you hit the nail on the head when you're talking about the difference between this and the Sorento. I love how this is set up. I love that you've got the bench. You have so much more space if you still want a five seater. I'm a diehard Sportage girl. We put the Sportage and the Sorento head to head, but this might make me change my mind, especially with the fact that it's a turbo. Woo. So we love that. I think that really covers the base of the back seat. Seats are easy to use. I guess we should show the third row, shouldn't we? Probably should. Probably should. <laughs> so even though it's a bench, you may think, oh, it's probably harder to get into the back. No, it's super easy. So both main seats, the left and the right, you're going to get that button. You give it a push. Folds. There we go. Slides. Charlotte's doing it the harder way because that's how we do things here. <laughs> but <laughs> So Gabby, it was so easy for you. You could do it while you're holding a camera. Yep. <laughs> but typically, you can climb in through there or, of course, on the other side. So I'll actually show you here. Now, of course, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. I'm going to have my knees up a bit. I actually do feel like I've got more space than I do in the Sorento. So that, <coughs> sorry, is a plus for me. Um, fair bit of space back here. A surprising amount of headroom. Knee room, of course, can always be improved on. But again, I still feel comfortable. I've got shoulder room. 
Uh, two couples is back here, rear air vents, rear climate controls. We love to see that. So you can adjust the fan back here. Good amount of space. Yeah. You look comfy. I am very comfortable, surprisingly. These seats are so soft. Yeah. Um, Floyd just said he prefers the bench over the captain's chairs. And I, I definitely like captain's chairs more, but I've come to realize that they can kind of be an issue sometimes. Can I show something real quick? Yeah, yeah. I'll just show the little handle. So if you are trying to get out, you actually do have a little area where you can stick your hand in or go like that. The seatbelt's literally blocking it. To get that Go like that to pull yourself out. And then also you have a nice step here too. That way you're not tracking in any excess mud. Be careful. Yeah, we'll see if I slip in these shoes. Two last things, I guess. You get sunshades. Oh yes, underrated in. feature, which I love. And heated seats, three different levels in the rear. Usually we only get two different levels, so. Ooh. More options. <laughs> All right, I think that's probably about it for this Santa Fe luxury. Again, not too in-depth compared to our previous Santa Fe videos, but hey, if you want to see something more in-depth, check out our previous Santa Fe videos. <laughs> I think we should probably answer some questions now and see what you guys have to say. Let's answer some questions. Okay, jump scare in three, two, one. Okay, hi. Ah! <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm gonna have a sip of water. No. <laughs> All right, it's also, our lights are off in here. I'll probably put the car in the background. What else is new? Come on over, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I just saw Ryan say something about us not being a Genesis dealer, so that's right. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> correct. Um, can you do the new Genesis electric, please? We have done a GV70, mm -hmm. so we have done one, but um, since then, we don't really get Genesis product because we are not a Genesis dealer. <laughs> uh, they swapped the steering wheel controls, all the driving stuff is on the left, i.e. indicators, ACC, ETC. Yep, so everything's on the left. Mm -hmm. We mentioned Switched that earlier. I'm not a fan see. of it. <laughs> I'm not a fan at all. Uh, someone said, this is Dan, he said, we took delivery of the Santa Fe calligraphy in twilight black with the beige interior. Very nice. Awesome. Ooh, from our store? I guess. Maybe. I don't know. But congratulations. Um, let's see. Oh, those charging pad spaces are nice. They are nice. So mm -hmm. even though this one doesn't have the dual charging pad, it still has that same material that kind of holds your phone. So your passenger can have their phone charging on, you know, a cable or something and not have to worry about it flying around with a sharp turn or something. So it still holds it quite nice. Um, price, do you know the MSRP, Sure. Uh, MSRP on this vehicle is $49,999. Ooh not including fees and taxes. All right, and this is not the highest trim level in the Santa Fe lineup, at least not here in Canada. This is one below the very, very top. However, it comes with a lot of premium, luxury, and safety features that a lot would consider fully loaded, mm -hmm. right? I would say dual sunroof, ventilated seats, all that stuff, that's all stuff that I would consider to be the top of the top. Do you have a question? <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at some of the comments. <laughs> Yeah, it's always a real crowd pleaser. They'd be attacking you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Charlotte were literally joking that I'm always wearing green pants. Mind you, I have more than one pair of green pants. I have a few. So that was pretty funny. Yeah, I, I don't know. Especially because we were just talking about it. Yeah. Also, green's my favorite color, guys. Let me wear my favorite color, please. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Um, the near Ionic 5 gets a nice end line and a wiper next year. When does that arrive? So I would say probably, I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't want to throw a guess out there either. Speaking of fashion choices, do you guys are mad that I'm always wearing green pants? Have you ever seen, where did he go? This man wear anything <laughs> other than a blue suit? Let Sorry. me know. Again, okay, Gabby and I have this conversation like on the daily. We've never seen Tim not in blue. He's mm -hmm. told us he owns a black suit. It's yet to be debunked. So. Yeah, I. You gotta subscribe just to see if that ever happens. Rumors, allegations, I don't know, but we have never seen it. Uh, towing capacity. Oh, okay. So this one, <laughs> this one is thirty five hundred pounds. If you want to beef that up to forty five hundred, get the XR T shirt. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's great. <laughs> that's great. All right, when does the hybrid Santa Fe arrive? So the hybrid Santa Fe is slated to arrive between three to four months, maybe a bit sooner, but I'm gonna say that is like our safe, 
our safe bet. What's up, girl? I'm sorry. I'm watching this, and it wasn't synced live, and it was just a clip of Tim walking. <laughs> so funny. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the rails, like the I wheels are falling off on I, this video, but they're not falling off on this Santa Fe. I think Recovery. on that note, we should definitely end off today's live video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for our video at 6 p.m. tonight. Gabby's actually reviewing her own vehicle. She's giving her honest opinion on what she loved about it and what maybe she doesn't like about it. So stay tuned for 6 p.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time and we will have that posted. And we'll be back tomorrow with another Kia vehicle. So stay tuned for that. All we'll right. See you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye. Where's the end? <laughs>